got the three V's here of communications. We have the verbal. The verbal is the content of the message itself. They're the words that you're saying. We have the vocal. The vocal is the sound, the tone, the pitch, the projection of your voice, what people hear of you. And then finally, we have the visual, what people see of the way that you come across. So if you were to take a look at these and say, well, I think, what, what do I think counts in communicating? So go ahead and in your own mind, just prioritize these. What do you think is more heavily weighted over the others? Let's just take a show of hands here. How many people think that verbal is most or equal importance? The words that you say, most or equal importance? Got a few hands there. All right, vocal, most or equal? Visual, most or equal? Hey, we got a smart group. You're not sleeping, that's, that's great. All right, well, let's take a look at the numbers and see what they say. This is a, a classic study done by Professor Albert Morabian out of UCLA. But before I show you those numbers, let me have you do a quick exercise. Make an okay sign with your right hand. Everybody do this without hitting your, your neighbor. Hold it out in front of you. Everyone, see it? Out in front of you. Above your head, everyone above your head, out to the side, and put it on your chin. Everybody, put it on your chin. Yeah, on your chin. Let's see. All right, they're still going. It's on my chin. What? On your chin. Oh, fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the chin. That's my chin right here. What's most important? The visual. Now, let me show you these numbers here. But let me first tell you what this does not mean. Again, this is a classic study. Professor Albert Moravian. He wrote a book called Silent Messages. The numbers that he found in his research certainly reflect that title. Take a look. Now let me tell you what this does not mean. This does not mean that the words you're saying, that the content, the meat of your presentation, only accounts for 7% of your experience. What it does mean, though, is that when the message is inconsistent, that is, when the words that you're saying don't match what people see or what they hear as you're saying it, they believe what they see over the actual word. It's as if I didn't even say chin. I had 80% of the audience going, this is my chin. Really? It's right there. You've got to have a consistent message to engender this trust and believability that your listener has in you and in your message, you have to think about getting that consistent message.